Well, it says you're live, so we must be live. It's Tim oh, Down yeah. for living with MS in Tenerife. It's 5.55, ladies and jelly spoons. We're here with Anne-Marie and Christine. She's down here somewhere. There you go. And, of course, the ubiquitous Diddy David. There you go. How's everybody? So we've got to press this button and open the, open the gate. If you could open the gate for me. Thank you very much. Go ahead, Christine. Cool dudes. So uh, welcome to the show. It's been a bit hectic today, so I didn't uh, do it until just now. And I just want to look into the, uh, see if I've got any mail. I'm not going to take it out. I just want to know whether I pick it up on the way back. Zero. Zero mail. Right. So where are we? We are outside our house. Taking our lives in our hands. Taking our lives in our hands, yes, good. Cool dude. Jeff Daniels is on, Trish is on, Derek's on. We got uh, 21 people and seven thumbs up already. Cool dude. Alan's homemade bullocks. Good evening to everybody. So we're in uh, Cao Savaki. This is, for those of you who don't know, this is the complex that we live in. This is Cao Beach. And we're in this block here at the top floor. On the other side, looking over the pool. So there you go. I'm just going to walk into town now. And uh, have a drink. And something to eat. Uh, Rich says, evening Tim, we're overstaying at the Villa Cortez at the minute. Oh, that's a nice one. Have you ever been to Villa Cortez? Yes. No? We've been inside it. Well, we're just in the lobby. Yeah. We've never They used to have a, a, a bar there called the Hofbräu House. It was a German bar and they sold oh, oh, litres of German beer. We went there a it's couple of times. Uh, inside, it is. Uh, uh, there's a venture restaurant called The Bank. Oh, is that a venture uh, restaurant now? That's a venture restaurant. Okay. Venture restaurant. okay. Twelve months or so. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it's did you did you eat there? No, no, no. no. Oh, is that what you need? You need no. a loan from the bank yes, to eat there? Indeed. Uh, perhaps. Yes. <laughs> there was a big comment there as I noticed a minute ago. Hang on. A holy ward. I'm going to Kaiserwache in April. What's the weather like there in April? And what's the weather like there now? Basically, the weather's the same all year round. If it, it's warm in the sun and cool in the shade when i say cool uh, probably 21 degrees in the shade at the moment so it's going to be a bit warmer in april um it drops down to about 18 17 in the night maybe but uh, not much not much cooler than that so in the sun usually between 24 and 28 degrees and if you're right in the sun and you're lying in it then it's probably uh, feels more like 30 but uh, it obviously depends if there's a, um, uh, a Kalima on. The Kalima is basically when the dust comes from the Sahara, that heats it up a bit. And, or if the Alisios are here, the trade winds, sometimes that brings moisture, which doesn't rain on us, but it, uh, it makes these clouds behind us. If you see the clouds there, it looks like it's a horrible day. But it's, uh, it's 22 degrees here. I looked in the car before we came out, quite didn't pleasant. it? Pleasant. It was quite pleasant, pleasant yeah. Great walking weather. When the, yeah, when the sun goes down, um, you probably need like a throw or something like that. I don't want to say cardi because everybody laughs at that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Politically incorrect these days, cardigan. A cardigan, I don't know. I don't know. That's yeah. Wales, is it? Cardigan? Cardigan is, is the bay in Wales. Hola. Hola. Edinburgh honest guy, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Oh, I've got to be finished at nine, haven't I? I want to go live with uh, Michael. He wasn't waving at me. He was waving at somebody else, but I waved back anyway. <laughs> so where are we going tonight? Well, we're walking into town and we're going to have a look at the burger place. Uh, we might have a drink somewhere else first, if you fancy, and then go for Where dinner. Is, yeah, no problem. We'll see what happens. Are you not you're not drinking? Uh, don't mind, don't mind, uh, you're not drinking alcohol today. 
never Depends believe the size you. of the audience. If there's more than uh, <laughs> 1,843 viewing, we shall be underwater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just arrived. Be more relaxed. Uh, Kevin's just put up a blog for Tenerife. Oh, Angry oh. viewer had had a point. Neil Davidson's on, have you all? Is he still here? Are you still here, Neil? Yeah. Tricia, Michelle saw a doctor at the dialysis this morning. They said it's an arthritic flare up slightly better today. That's right. Oh dear. What do you think, Chris? Humbug. Where's my burger, she says. She doesn't eat burgers. Oh, okay. They've all they've all got things up north. Tenerife man's put a vlog up. Bit of competition, huh? You got no respect, you lot. <laughs> no respect. <laughs> <laughs> and Jamie Priest, I'm booked for the 28th of April. Cool dude. Very good. I'm going to interview him, and uh, he's a special because he uses a um, a machine to communicate. All right. So yeah, oh, like, you know. Yeah. Voice, um, yeah, a, a vo vocalizer or whatever yeah. it's called. Yeah. So this is Nebula. This is the first restaurant that you see when you come into the village, actually, and uh, it seems very popular. Another guy owns this. And he's very busy most of the time. I'll just show you the, uh, have a quick look at the menu here. Here's the British menu for those of you who speak English. So you've got starters, pasta, salads, fish, fried dishes, focaccia and pizzas, and meat. Something for everybody there, I should imagine. Cool dude. So here's the three hotels. This is the Mind Hotel. This is where Mark stayed, uh, that we met yesterday. And uh, this is the Tropical Park. And then behind it, the white one in the background there, is the Kayao Garden. So that's the three star. This is a four star, and that's a four star, I think. Interesting. You all right, kid? Yeah. I'm just gonna make sure she doesn't yeah. fall into the street. Hey! Yeah, it's... Oh, here's the pretty girls. Give us a wave, pretty girls. <laughs> Got to have these for the thumbnail, you see. You get more views with pretty girls. <laughs> All right. So the actual place that we're going to eventually is on the left here. Let's have a look. Yeah. There is a ramp, yeah. Down here. So that's where we decided to come. Do you fancy? Yes. Yeah. So we'll just have a walk down to the... Uh, Oh, we'll go, we'll go straight here then, yeah? Sure, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Ian's on, Candy's on, Julie's on. I didn't realize Christina was such an expert driver. Oh, yes, she is. She's really good. Right. So we're going to sit here, yeah? Where, where do you want to sit? Where do you want to sit? Top class. Top class, all right. You sit on the corner there? Or? Where's Well, I don't mind. I'm just, I'll, you'll sit there. Where are you going to sit? Okay, I'll put Christina here then. There we go. Hi. 
Olá. 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 Solo uno. Gracias. Mi esposa no, no visto mucho. Okay. Oh, it's in a foreign language, look. Oh, no, it's upside down. So here we go, ladles and jelly spoons. Here we are at the burger station. Let me just show you where it is. It's called Regrub, it says here. Station. There you go. And uh, we'll sh let's show you the menu first. There's Chris. I'll get the second microphone out in a minute so you can hear everybody. You want to park differently? It's a bit tight, is it? Okay. Let's do this. Oh, sorry, Anne. You're okay. You're okay. Fine. I'm apologising in advance. You take your hands up. Put your hands above the table. No, Watch no, your feet. No, Watch your feet. No. Want something for a drink? Um, Over to What would you like to drink, Jen? Uh, they got beer. Yeah. Dorada. Mm -hmm. Dorada. And what's for Christine? What is it? I go to Dorada. Can you? Oh, no. Uh, Dorada sin alcohol? Uh, we got uh, water, Nesty, Coca-Cola, um, Minute Maid, Apple Tizer, Monster, Aquarius, and Blissberry or Ginger. Ginger is is uh, Bliss is like tonic, eh? Yeah? It's tonic, ginger flavored. A jara. Una dorada. You want a pint? A pint? Pint. No. Got some very interesting uh, names here. Things like Lupita's Burger sounds very exotic. Mm hmm. <laughs> Lupita's Burger. It's probably, probably somebody who works here. Charcoal brioche bread. Oh, like that's the. Yeah. yeah, but the charcoal uh, brioche bread is black. Yeah, I wouldn't like the jalapenos either, nor the bread. I'd like the jalapeno, I just wouldn't like the black bread. Oh, no. Here is everybody, look. But um, are you hungry right now? Because I think we'll just have a drink and we chat with the people, drink, yeah. and then we'll yeah. order, we'll we'll order when order we're done, yeah? Course. Yeah? Yes, of course. Okay, because I don't want to be eating in front of you guys. No. And I want to talk to, uh, to you guys. But we could have uh, a starter. Well, we just have a look at the menu. Yeah, we're going, to, we're going to look at the menu now, right? But we're not going to order yet. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's do that first then. Ladles and jelly spoons. Before I do anything else, we're going to look at the menu. So, if I get that one to read. And this one to show. We're all organised here, aren't we, kid? We're all organised here. So, can you see this? So, we've got the starters, which are onion rings, tequinos. Tequinos are like stuffed... Um, cheese fingers, uh, then nachos, uh, chicken wings, half the portion of rib, or chicken bites, well, like chicken nuggets I suppose, yeah. and then we got world famous hot dogs, this is the station hot dog or the canaria hot dog, so a canaria hot dog will be a um, pero caliente, <laughs> and then we've got the uh, the hamburgers. So we've got Station Smash Burger, brioche bread, black Angus beef, cheddar cheese, bacon, pickles, and sauce. Double Station Smash Burger. It's, it's speaking my language, this is. With the same, but double. Bacon Cheeseburger, which is potato roll, black Angus beef, bacon. I don't know what a potato roll is, but we'll have a look at that. Barbecue Smoke Burger. Can you see these? Barbecue Smoke Burger. Chicken burger, Houston Station burger, which is basically triple bacon, onion, jam, and mayo, which is spicy, and Lupita's burger, which is the charcoal brioche bread, 
black angus beef, jalapenos, pico de gallo, guacamole, grilled egg and green sprouts. The veggie burger, vegetarian bread, quinoa burger with hummus and fondue burger, potato roll, two cheddar cheeses, pickles, grilled onion, crispy bacon and full cream cheddar cheese. So that's vegetarian as well. Children's menus are cheeseburger, hot dog and chicken nuggets. And then the drinks are the drinks. And there's a special here. Oh, I went the wrong way, sorry. There we go. See if you can get that one. I'll take a picture of it and stick it on Instagram for you. And um, so the specials here are Caesar salad, tender sprouts with grilled chicken pieces, toasted bread and authentic Caesar sauce, barbecue ribs and crispy chicken tenders with coleslaw and grilled corn on the cob. So I'll take a picture of that later when we're done. So let's first of all see what we're doing. Do you fancy, have you anything you fancy, Chris? Yeah, the chicken pieces from coleslaw. The chicken tenders, yeah? Yeah, I've had anything. For starters, is it? No, no, for me. Oh, for me. Okay. Should we get a starter now? Or a couple? Yeah? yeah? I don't expect you to pay for all of this. Excuse me, Tim, please. we're our guests. Law and order, please. No, oh, well, no I'll, I'll, I'll have all the yet. starters then, please. You can have all the, the entire starters. Menu. Sure. The entire menu. Yeah. I fancy um, trying the half rib because I don't want to. I don't want to take the the whole rib because uh, I want the I want a a burger. Right. So, do you want anything else uh, like an onion ring or taquinos with chutney? Onion rings. Onion rings. Okay, yeah, so we'll get an onion rings and a half rib to, to share. Yeah. And do you want one more? We'll have chicken wings, maybe. I don't know. What we think. Well, we've picked the half rib and the onion rings, oh, so right. you, you okay. pick what you what you like. We have chicken wings. Chicken wings. Yeah. Hablamos yeah. um, inglés, sí. Perfect. Okay. Um, we'd like to order starters and drinks now. Okay. And then when the show's finished, because I'm live on YouTube. When the show's finished, we'll order food. Okay, great. Yeah? So now you know the... So we know the starters. We're just going to have the half rib, the chicken wings, and the onion rings to share. Okay, sure. Perfect. Thank you. And the vegetarian um, cerveza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Could I also get my Or would you prefer to sit with you back to the sun? Very bright. Your eyes. We'll get Chris her sunglasses because look, she's she's like squinting. Uh, yeah, she's a little, the sun. A so little squinter. Low, the sun is low and very bright. She wants a drop of me or anything. Sorry? Sunglasses no, no, no. Sunglasses enough. There we go. Uh, there you go. So, do you want chicken bites? No, no. Uh, half a rib, chicken wings, uh, and, and onion, onion rings. Sorry. Thank you. Do you want to change anything? No, Amory? no, I know what I want for the main. Oh, what do you fancy as the main? Christine, the chicken tenders. Are you having the same as chicken tenders? Yeah. Oh, right. We're having the same. Theoretically, you could share the chicken tenders and order something else if you fancy. But you're not. But you're not. I can. I don't mind. The double station smash burger. I might like. That's what I was thinking of going for. That's a double. Maybe I just have the basic burger. No, no, the basic. Well, we'll get to the start. Anyway. Or we, we could get, we could get the station smash burger, and then when you finish, get another one. That's double. That's yeah, but no, but you, you get double, you get double bread this then. This is your scientific training coming out. This is my my this is my greediness coming out. One multiplied by <laughs> two two. Very good. So let's see. This this is the for those of you who are watching for the technic. These this is the DJI mic. I've got one on here, and this one is going to be turned on now. And if it goes green, yes, it goes green. So now we've got two mics. So I'm just going to put this on the table here. Right, just so it picks up if you if you decide to talk. So hello everybody. There you go. There's Hi everyone. David Testing and one, two, Anne Marie. Let yeah. me just see what people are saying. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna turn it around so you can see those while I'm reading, so you don't have to look up my nostril. There you go, ladles and jelly spoons. You're both in it now. Uh, hi. So let, I'm going right to the beginning again. Now 129 people watching. It's very good. Very it good. is really good. And. 
there's loads of people that have said something. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Flew home yesterday, Tim. Okay, Neil's home yesterday. Neil's gone, yeah. It was a nice meeting up with Trisha and Ali B and Ken. Oh, cool, dude. Hi, Neil. Cool, dude. North Tenerife man's on, Michelle T. I'm just going to go Steve. very quickly through these unless there's a massive long comment, which I shall read. Hollywood, my dad Scott really likes your videos, by the way. He ups the videos are going well. Hollywood, hi to Holly's dad Scott. Uh, da, 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 going past everybody else. James Curzon, Sarah Child. Sorry, I'm late to the party, don't worry. Beautiful drink. Don't worry. Yeah. Lovely lager. Not uh, German, but good. <laughs> lager means uh, warehouse. Does it? Yeah, if wow. you lager something, you put it in oh, a warehouse. Right, right. So lager beer is beer that you've brewed and put, put in, in a warehouse. Or put in, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Not beer that... Cheers, everybody. Mm. Cheers to all. Cheers, big ears. Big ears. Happy Monday to all. Happy Mother's Day yesterday for England. Lovely to be back in Tenerife. Excellent. Last. It's a great feeling yeah. to be back. What a feeling. Anne and Christina looking beautiful, says Julie Wade. What about Tim and David? That's what I want to know. I think we're just looking the same as usual. Orcus Tim. Whaling's on, Candy's on. Oh, is Orcus on? Hi, Orcus. Sarah, yep, stupidly funny. What, is, you're describing me, are you? Marie Alty's on, watch the Circus of Horror. The Hi, one Marie. Their one Britain Got Talent. Oh. That's, that serves you right for watching Britain's Got Talent. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love Keith too, very funny man. He's a funny man. No problem, Moira. We don't know. Oh, Keith Lemon. I, I, he's, he's in a quiet taste for me, I think. And Mola182, as soon as a bar seems, as soon as a bar sees Johnny Vlogger there, Johnny Vlogger there, eyes will light up with euros. As soon oh. as, soon as a bar sees Johnny Vlogger, Vlogger. there, right. eyes, that's not a sentence, is it? Maybe. Unless he means their eyes. Yeah. T-H-E-I-R. Could be. Euros. Could be. If you mean their eyes, light up with euros. Is that for his promotional skills or his drinking? No, I think, they're, ju I think they're just having a go at him. <laughs> I think they're just, I think they're just having oh, a go at him. Johnny, okay. Johnny, looking forward to seeing you, Johnny. You too. Don't mind them. They're only But jealous. don't forget that the rules for this channel, there's only three rules. Yes. One is have respect. Yes. Yeah. The second one is be honest to yourself and others. And the third one is integrity, doing the right thing even when nobody's looking. Which I didn't do today because I turned left out of the Andorra. <laughs> and there was people looking. But yeah, anyway. So yeah, as long as you're respectful, you're honest and you've got integrity, you're welcome here on the channel. If you want to do anything else, toddle off to somewhere else. Thank you. Exactly. We don't ban you until you Say something. Yeah, I'm telling you misbehaviour. Exactly. Mm. Give me a wave, David Butler says Smiler from New Zealand. Hello, New Zealand. North Island or South Island? We won't ask too many detailed questions, but that's. Uh, I Ooh, think, um, I've gone. I've gone nephew, drunk. My nephew is in Auckland. He lives in Auckland. Uh, Gary. Gary. That's right. Ah, there we go. I, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. So we're live with 148 people on and 54 thumbs up. Thank you so much. So where are we? Those of you just joining us, we're in Kailsavachi, which is the village we live in. And we've, we're underneath the, um, we can still hear you by the way. We won't yeah, talk behind We're underneath the Eden no, no, cocktail no. and gin bar. So if you can see um, the, what's it called? The Nebula restaurant, and, be and behind that is the Eden Cocktail and Gym Bar, same guy, and we are down here at the burger station, and I'm just going to show you inside now. So this has been open for about a month, I think. These are the people that own, own Momo, great, great cafe, and, and the best bacon butty I've ever had. Are you open tomorrow? Yes. I'm going to come for a bacon butty tomorrow. And this is the, uh, you are the cheese to my burger. There you go. And here's, oh, there's only two genders. <laughs> and can I film in here? Yeah, okay. This, and how long have you been open? Uh, eight days. Just eight days. Okay, cool dude. And I saw it being done up and I thought that's the place I want to try out. 
so we live here in the village, but we don't go out that often. But we do go out on Mondays and we meet people who follow the channel. It's a YouTube channel, yeah? So these people are on holiday, they arrived yesterday and we brought them here for, for dinner today. Yeah. Cool dude. So we got music, which shouldn't be on YouTube. But no. No problem. And here's the kitchen. I was looking really good. Here's the chef. Yeah, you're the chef. What's your names? Michael. And I'm sure the food is good too. Auri. 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 Okay, Michael and Auri, ladies and gentlemen. And who's Luch Luchinda? What's the burger named after? Sorry? There's a burger named after somebody. L uh, Lupita. That's a Mexican, it's a Mexican burger. It's, it's not a person. Like ah, okay. Okay. Are you guys from Mexico? From where? Venezuela. Cool dudes. Are you enjoying yourselves here or have you been here longer? 20 years. Well, since you were minus one. So you look too young to be dear 20 years. Cool. Well, we wish you all the luck and we're going to sample the delights now. Okay. So there's room inside. Uh, for I think there's a couple there, a couple there, and then a, t a table for four inside, but it's mostly outside. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next door has not been sold yet. Yeah. So if you want this, I think it's actually still set up as a bakery. You can rent this out. Uh, it says for rent six two nine five seven three two seven zero. So there is a shop here to rent, and uh, next door to it there's a beauty parlour. So you can. Uh, you can fill your face with burgers and then go and get beautified at the beauty parlour. Sounds like a great idea. It does, doesn't it? My nails need doing. Oh, there's the sun going down. Yes. Uh, cool dude. So, Anne and David. Yes. Uh, we'll leave it, unless you don't want to talk. Yeah, no, don't yeah. mind oh, okay. So, when did you arrive? We arrived late last night. Uh-huh. Bit of delay at the airport, unfortunately. Well, what happened there? Well, we... Got in with the security in Dublin was great because uh -huh. there are new machines now that allow you to keep everything into your in your bag, your electronics, your liquids, and everything. So they just so X-ray you. X-ray exactly. everything through, yes. and it's a different system now, so much it makes quicker. things much speedier. But we arrived in Tenerife on time. Mm -hmm. However, when we went to do our bag collect, mm -hmm. the the wheel started, the baggage came along, uh -huh. and then stopped suddenly. So the carousel just stopped altogether? The carousel just literally well, stopped. Well, the carousel moved, but the it baggage moved, disappeared. And the baggage disappeared. Oh, right, so it, it wasn't, it wasn't it the carousel that was broken it down. It was, the, it was the manual feeding of the carousel with the second load of bags. that didn't Took an hour later, maybe. Oh, we can see, they needed the hour to go through the bags to see if there's anything worth stealing. This is it, Joe, and they yeah. failed in our case, but I'm sure they did very well at <laughs> the others. But no, really, it was very very long delay. Very long Frustrating. delay. Frustrating. Yeah. And yeah. then we had a bit of a delay getting our transfer yeah, well. to Park de Paz. But we got it eventually and we arrived. So we didn't arrive until very late. So you're behind the La Paz strip with all those We're bars right on it. We're right behind the bar. Yes, There's no the sound. The sound proofing, proofing, is, proofing is excellent. excellent. Really? It's great. We're above yeah. that rock and roll bar, the bull's head or whatever. Uh -huh. And when you go out on the veranda, you can hear boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And you close yeah. the door. So they've done an excellent job in refurbishing it in terms of soundproofing That's anyway. Right. Cool yeah. dude. Very happy with that. Yeah, very happy with that. Cool dude. So then we went out at about 11.30. To see if we get some dinner. To try Hungry. and see if there was anywhere Lonely. open. That was on us. Sunday night, surely the um, that, no that Spanish restaurant's open in, um, in La... What's it called? El Camisón? And it's called no. the... No, we didn't go down, no, that, we didn't no, go that, down that far. No, okay. we didn't go down that far. We actually went up to the top of the safari centre. And oh, right, okay. We were directed down then we were given to advice. a little place off um, the main Golden Mile, mm -hmm. and we went in, and it's a kebab place. Mm -hmm. It's a kebab house, but a very extensive menu. Do, was, it, was it opposite the Mediterranean Palace? Yeah, the Mediterranean Palace. Yeah, the Mediterranean Palace. Ola or Ola? Yeah, 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 I know it, I know it. Yeah. 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 We've been there for coffee and stuff. Yeah, it was nice, it was nice. Similar. So we went home then, and we watched a few of the Oscars. Yeah. Some of the Oscars, yeah. Who won the Oscar? Michael from Edinburgh Honest Guide won one. Oh, did he? Sure. Well, he's got one anyway, I don't know. Well, we, we certainly have seen the Irish um, 
first time, is it, uh, Irish male, best male actor, uh, Killian, Killian Murphy, Murphy for Oppenheimer. For Oppenheimer. So He's a German, wasn't he? Sorry? Well, Oppenheimer was a German gentleman <laughs> who developed the atomic bomb. Oh, wow. He left Hitler's uh, uh, firm and joined... Uh, joined another Nazi joined, firm, yeah. No, joined, and then please. killed thousands, millions of no, people no, no, in no, no, Japan. No, no, no. No politics, please. It's, it's history. It's history. It's ancient it's history, history at this stage. It's five years before I was born that Hiroshima and Nagasaki Was it five happened. years before you were born? Five, yeah. Jesus. I'm that old, you know. You are that old, aren't you? Yeah, you look a lot younger. Well, this is due to moisturising twice a day. Uh, sorry. Oh, oh sorry, I was that last that. year. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> moisturising is... Um, oh, Dorada. Dorada, oh, yeah. Dorada, yeah, yeah, moisturising, yeah. Mola182 says, How comes in the Canarias you can buy cigarettes in a shop but in the mainland and the Balearics, it's in the tobacco shops. Oh well, I think that um, I think that um, we are. That Spain is made up of different autonomous communities, and the autonomous community of the Canary Islands has a different political landscape as the autonomous communities everywhere else. So I'm assuming that it's uh, an autonomous community thing. The other thing that I can imagine as well is that we have a different tax regimen here. That's right. And so therefore, maybe the tax is allows anybody to sell cigarettes. I think so. And you don't have to go to like the ABC store or whatever the store is called. I imagine that's it, Jess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, we had a lovely surprise that Scott. next Sunday our son Scott and partner Lucy are coming up to wow. see us. AKA view from us. I actually saw that that he was coming because um, I've subscribed to his. Next I've Sunday. subscribed to his uh, yeah. thing, and he said he's. Yeah, he's we've ten subscribed to too. It's a yeah. brand new channel launched yesterday. Uh -huh. So please subscribe, viewers. Uh huh. What does the blue spanner mean? The blue spanner means, <laughs> Ian, <laughs> that um, I've I've put you in as one of my moderators. Oh, very good. So, but I only I only make moderators to people that I've actually met. Ah. Good in, the, in the flesh, good for you. Yeah? Yeah. I put it TikTok. I put it TikTok. Please, please type in full sentences, please, if you want me to. <laughs> Hi, Tim, and everyone says Tracy. Hello, Vinny. Oh, Vinny must be on. David Butler. Hi. And Andrew Rothney's on. Cheers, Alan. I'm going backwards now. I've missed a load of stuff. If it's something that you said that you want me to respond to, please type it again. I can't go all the way back. A lot of people um, chat amongst themselves on this channel, which I, yeah. which I uh, agree with. You know, it's it's a free for all for everybody. Oh, yeah. But there are certain people that have come to me, the shall be nameless, that say they don't do it because then you can't find the the things that I've got to answer. So what we should do is I have two channels. I have the, I have the back channel for the chit chat and have the thing. That's why I did QQ, QQ but unfortunately yeah, QQ, QQ doesn't work uh, with just the phone. I've got to have the, the system. It works on yeah. your laptop uh, back home, yeah. Okay. Edinburgh, honest guy, just give me eight quid. Oh, actually, well done, well, Michael. He's, he's, Michael? He's, Excellent. He's, he's sent eight quid, but uh, I realised that I only get four uh, of it. Well, this will buy six of these or one in Dublin. <laughs> actually, these are three books here. Three. Oh, yeah. okay. okay, but they're still okay. Yeah, it's still good. It's not 150, but it's good. It's a fine point. Dublin, you pay about eight. Yeah, 150 has gone in the village now. It's two euros now. Is two. It? Yeah, yeah, two yeah. euros, 250 you pay now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is only it's um, inflation. 50. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is only a, a dollar more than yeah. anything else. It's yeah. okay. It's good. Good beer. Good beer. Uh huh. Thank so, you, Michael, again for the the chat thingy. Yes, sure. I'll get it at the end of next month, and if you're still here, I'll buy you a pint. <laughs> When are you coming out, Michael? I wonder when Michael's coming. That's right. uh, Mark LFC says, don't leave college ashtray. I know he's vulnerable and easily led. There you go. Ooh. Pencils are easily led. There's and Heather McCarthy on. Hi. Mola says, Hi, where is Masker in Tenerife? Masker's where it always was. It's right next door to uh, Santiago del Teide. So if you go from here up the coast, uh, to what's it called? Los Ejantes. Or just before Los Ejantes, you turn up the hill, or you can actually go straight up the motorway, get off at Santiago del Taide, and then turn left, 
and then you go, go up the mountain and down the other side and it's basically on the top left point of there. Thank you very much. Hi to Christina Davis says Fiona. Vinny says David Butler, have you stayed in Park La Paz? I love that hotel. Park Loving La Paz the Dorada. Well, we're in Park La Paz now. Maybe uh -huh. June. First time ever. Yeah. Ian says I'm in Callow. Ah, we can get rid of these. Oh. Oh, we got dips. Dips. Oh, look at this very sophisticated. We got this ribs. Is a joint. This is very important. Uh -huh. Okay, let's uh, let's just show you these. This is the half rib. Yes. Wow. I take to see a whole rib. Wow. Yeah. Exactly. Cow wouldn't fit on the table. <laughs> so this is the half rib starter. Wow. These are the. What did we say these wings. were? Wings. Are they the wings? Are chicken, they the chicken wings. Tenders. Are these chicken wings or chicken bites? Bites. Bites. Okay. The bite. And do you want something else? Uh, wings. No, 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 oh, no, no, no. They, they brought the bites instead of the oh, wings. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Perfecto. We'll try these. Yeah. Okay. We'll try these yeah. And those nice. are the onion rings. Mm. Yeah. They might not have any chicken wings. It's okay. It's good. The dips are for dipping. Very good. Or was that too easy an answer? <laughs> you want to give Christina something there first? Yeah? Well, I'm going to I'm gonna cut the ribs. So hang on. Nice. I'm going to cut the ribs up and I'm going to show you me cutting the ribs. A, a bite. There we go. Try this dip here. It looks like a garlic oh, mayonnaise dip. Yeah. Is it a garlic mayonnaise? Can I try a bite as well while I'm here? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Sorry, oh, yeah, please. Mm. Oh, they're very good. The chicken bites are good. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, they are coming apart. They are tender. Then's done is a question. How long has the bakery been shut, Tim? Yeah, well, the um, last year, or the year before last, sorry, the, the baker, the guy who, who ran it, unfortunately died. Oh, oh dear. That's sad. And his wife and daughter carried on. Right. Um, and they were trying to find people to do the baking yeah. and uh, they got a few people but it wasn't working out oh, so they just, so she decided to retire yes. okay. and the daughter Justine they're French the daughter Justine and her boyfriend are in Asia at the moment they've been there for like six months now right. and they have a fantastic YouTube channel wow. now it is in Spanish so I'm just going to grab this and then pass these on Christina, like a rib? Can I try another knife? Yes, of course. I love ribs. I love ribs. I'll pass on the ribs, thank you. There's mm. onion rings there. Yeah. There's only the and me, is there? Johnny Davis and you. Oh, I'm, I need your, uh, hmm. your bib kit. We gotta do this. Now there's a question. Um, Why do Anne and Dave look to read? And when did they first come? What year was okay, that? Mark, um, to answer your question, we first came to Tenerife in 2019. Where's right. the microphone? And Oh you got it, okay. We didn't really like it when we came first. But then we start watching all the YouTubers and we learned an awful lot about the various areas in Tenerife and basically we've been coming ever since we absolutely adore we fell in love with it in about the last time when the first second time we came we fell in love with Tenerife and we love it ever since there's so much to do and see and everything else so that's when we first came yep all right hope that answers your question so we're going to tuck into these now and you can watch the uh, the sunset go down. Mm, it's going to be lovely. Mm. It goes down over Lagomera now. 
So in the winter it goes it down over the sea. Over the sea, of course. And, as and then around about March it starts, or yeah. end of February, yeah, it comes back Towards into the... the west. Yeah. yeah. Just a little bit afraid of onion rings, but I might have a little half one. Yeah, excellent. And this dip here. Mm. The onion rings are very good. They are, they, and the chicken bites They're crispy. are lovely. They're crispy. Highly recommend this. And, uh, and not, not too fat. Hmm? Part of my five a day. <laughs> Part of your five a day. Mm -hmm. Five pints, is that? The Dorado is the other four, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not drinking anymore. Because I'm not drinking any less. Correct. Michael says he loves haggis. Oh, right. I've my never caught one. goes out to you. I've had uh, haggis Michael, before. Michael, no. Not <laughs> Scottish before breakfast... Item, but uh, whoever. They live on the side of the mountain, don't they? And they've got like, two long legs and two short legs. And big hairy. Mm -hmm. oh, no, yeah. no, I guess I'm afraid I can't. I try. It's, it's, it's like, like, like pudding, it's like Irish pudding. Ar yeah. Irish white pudding and haggis are quite similar. Really? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I've had a white pudding, but I've never had a. I've had a haggis as well, but I, I couldn't see the similarity. Is haggis not in a. A natural skin or something, is that not the issue? In the bladder maybe, yeah? Mm, yeah. yeah, whereas white pudding is artificial uh, We have oh, um, We have a thing at home called roulade. Oh yeah. And it's white pudding in the middle, mm -hmm. <coughs> surrounded by black pudding on the outside. Mm -hmm. It's like a wheel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you fry it like pudding, but it's combined. And what's it called? And it's roulade. Roulade, roulade okay. R-U-L-A-D-E. Mm -hmm. And it's quite nice, it's lovely. I, we buy it every weekend. Yeah. We cook it every week and we love it. It's, it. it's really nice, isn't it? It's nice, a bit salty, but so I'm sort of starting to ease off. David seized it off the fries. He's trying to eat more healthy. It's just um, with my blood pressure, you need to avoid salt, you know, and um, I kind of losing the taste for salt as well. Uh -huh. It's a, a geriatric mm -hmm. symptom, I suppose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm, I like my cereal and my porridge much more so than salty meat. Yeah, but it doesn't porridge have salt in it? Well, I add salt, unfortunately, so <laughs> maybe. But I do, it's low-sodium salt. So the, you know, the one you can get with the low-sodium, that's yeah. okay. What I don't understand is salt is uh, sodium chloride, right? That means it it's low-sodium, means yeah. it's more chlorine. Oh. And chlorine is the poisonous gas, as we all know, that green stuff that kills people, yeah, yeah, on the Eastern Front in 1914, yeah. Chlorine gas. But you see, that's chemistry is a great mystery. You, sodium, which is a, a very strange metal, and chlorine, which is a poisonous gas, gives you salt, and you can eat it. It is. So, it's the mysteries of science. That's why you can tell a metal with the name, it ends in U-M. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Aluminium, yeah, yeah. Eum, yeah. Yeah. So, aluminum. Um, aluminum, yeah. 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 Alum. I never knew that, yeah. Mercur never, oh, mercurium. <laughs> mercurium. Mercurium. Well, yeah, still. <laughs> so that is one um, reason that we don't have aluminum, because it has to be aluminium. Aluminium. It has to be aluminium. That's it. For it to be a metal, because yeah. I U M. Yeah, aluminium's everywhere except America, where they yeah, call it al aluminum. That's right, yeah. There you go. But the reason it's aluminium is because of the eum. Oh. It's the thing. Would you like another uh, rib there, David? One final rib, yes, thank Take you. Take the big one. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm wondering will I, but I may not be able to eat any more. Would you like to try some? Quite no, thank you. Would you like to try no, a rib, you. Chris? Mm. Well, it looks quite like filling. I've got two ribs left. You have. That means I'm not, going, I'm not going to go for the double burger. <laughs> well, no, I don't think I'm going for the burger <laughs> at all. This is lovely. Very high quality food. You're not going to have a burger at all? I might reconsider and look at the menu again. Did we order? <laughs> no, we, we didn't no, order. We no, ordered, no. Yes. Oh, no. We, we said we'd eat these and then and decide. Then later the, mm. yeah. the ribs are delicious, filling and gorgeous. Mmm. Is there more chicken tender? Or I'm fine with it. Do you like them then, man? Chicken tender. Yeah. Chicken. Oh, yep. go. She's going for it. Exactly. Christina's going for it. Yep. There you go, Christina. Yeah. Everything's fine. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. 
So Tricia says Scott thumbs up. Yeah, does, Scott's coming on. Does the mum from the bakery still live in Tenerife? Oh. You know, I'm not sure. I haven't seen her in town, but uh, I'm not usually in town a long time. I usually just come down and have a walk around, but I've not seen her, no. Yeah. And I'm not sure whether they lived here um, at all. And was the mother was French? Yeah. She was French. Yeah, the, all the whole family was French. All right. And I, they had this bakery for ages. It was, it was mm. I think, the best bakery in town. So ge a genuine French bakery, French yeah. owners. And oh, yeah. Excellent. That's a sad story, but... I nearly went to get a job just to find out the recipes. Oh, I imagine, yeah. yeah. Didn't you, you do that a vlog on that bakery tent? I did go in there up, and yeah. filmed it, but um, it didn't really go down that well, you know? Oh. It what wasn't. It, that? What happened? Uh, it was too dark inside. Oh, right, okay. But I did do a vlog of, of walking down and doing it. Mm. There's a big one here, then, 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 then. And whereabouts do you and David live? Uh, hang on. Uh, in Dublin for three years, but was based in <laughs> County Kildare. Traffic commute was That's horrendous, nice. and every day very expensive Dublin, but a great vibe. Yeah, well, yeah. I can relate to nearly everything she said. We live in mm. West Dublin uh, on the M50, a place called Palmer's Town. It's on the Galway Road in, and um, Anne has lived there since 1977. Mm. And I've lived there since I think 2004. That's the so day. That's the, the year I left England. Yeah, mm. there you go. So it's um, it's a nice suburb, and we really don't go into the city because it is expensive. It's very touristy. Yeah. Uh, we tend to hang out around. We have the advantage in Dublin of where we live that it's at the centre of a main motorway system that's called right. the M50. That's right, right. Yeah. Okay. And the M50 it's the ring road. Uh, it's, the, it's the main ring road of the M50 and the M50 motorway leads to all areas of Dublin. Yeah. Every if Una Mind is still on the chat she, she'll verify that for me as well. Like uh, all roads lead can, to Rome. Yeah, you can, there's junctions. The M25 so there's junctions of, of and there's Ireland. toll okay. bridges that's mm. the other unfortunate thing. Well there's mm. toll fees but still. Yeah, there's well, toll one, fees if you're going north side. Thanks. They're going south side, there aren't Three. any there yet. But it's very central, however very built up. When I moved there in 1977, it was like a little farm, a little village of Farmerstown, and a couple of houses. But now it's like another little city within a city. Oh, you're teasing them with that rib there, Tim. You're showing, somebody's saying, making me hungry. Uh, Moira's asking, is it Moira? Yeah, Moira was asking where I'm and David going for St. Patrick's Day. God only I knows, said to Moira. be decided. I wrote, wrote we back. We don't know yet. We really don't know. We're in the hands of the in the hands of everybody else. The out facilitators, here. Uh, the we'll calls and the webbies of this world. Yeah, we'll be in touch with Carl tomorrow. Yeah. And um, we're going up north to see Steve and Denise tomorrow, which we're very much looking, looking forward, forward to that so much. Yeah. With Tricia, mm -hmm. and then when we come back, hopefully we'll be meeting Carl and Seth. So Paddy's Day is an issue because of the crowding, but we're not 100% sure yet mm -hmm. where the venue will be, which, where's the best place. Because it's very difficult to vlog for the people that are out here trying to vlog Paddy's Day when everywhere is crowded. So yeah. we just have to see where is the most easiest place to get to a good Wi-Fi, I guess. Exactly. Where, yeah. Yeah, good Wi-Fi yeah. is an issue, and I think yeah. there, there was Seems an issue. An the, issue. the Moonlight Bar was selected, and then yeah. it was concluded that their Wi-Fi or their yeah. their signal for for. Um, I don't know whether the the Wi-Fi from the Moonlight Bar is bad, but I used the signal from my phone. Yeah. And that was terrible. Yeah. The, it's the, the signal for the mobile data yeah. is a problem. Sorry. Yeah. There not, is a problem not necessarily there. Necessarily wi Wi-Fi. Yeah. Mm. So, I think the jury is out on where we're going to be. Oh, and Neil has a question there for you. There's a lot of people. 155 people watching, 80 thumbs up. Jeez. Neil Davidson. I'm getting to. Neil Davidson asked a very naughty question. Naughty Neil. Can you uh, ask David how Ireland got on in the rugby on Saturday? I missed the game. Well, Neil, we just to explain to you. First of all, you've got to say who they played. Uh, they were playing England in Twickenham. Do, does England have a, have a rugby team? Uh, they, a sort of a rugby team, a type of mix and gather of guys from various clubs, but. The problem was that Ireland were leading, I think, 
80 minutes and 20 seconds. In other words, it was in the red. Uh, but they let the ball go for the last yeah. two minutes and they didn't bury the ball and England got the ball. And it was a drop goal. Boom, England won by a point. And it was embarrassing. I think we should have been a little more less error prone at the end of the game you know mm. and it wasn't our best game by yeah the but end. that's and a great it, game isn't it, it? it was England's if best. you're behind all the game and then you win you come from behind to win the underdog comes from behind to win that's yeah. like a that's like a fantastic story know, but, but anybody but, can win a rugby game up to the last five minutes like you could be leading in five minutes and the behind just could come up and it's like it can be up and down. Yeah, but for, mm -hmm. for I a million years. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't miss your question, JJ. I'm still thinking. Oh, JJ. <laughs> Very good. I think he asked whether Colin, Johnny, Vlogger were going to join us tonight. Oh. They've not wow. registered, and I talked to Cole, and he said to, if because Saf's with him, they're dead. Did you That's want one now? <laughs> I did offer it you though, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Well, Cole is tied up with Saf, I'm sure. Exactly. So normally, Cole would like come straight from yeah, the airport, twice. but yeah. because he's with Saf, he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to. Yeah. And he's here for ten days, so we'll probably see him next Monday. But we're going to see him before then anyway. Yeah. So uh, I think Friday might be a, a contender for Johnny and uh, and Cole and anybody else who wants to come. Okay, thanks for answering, Jay. No problem, JJ. I did see it. It's just that people were sort of chatting, and I, uh, I've got to decide. It was so disappointing, says Heather McCarthy. There you go. Yeah, so Not for English happened. people, I don't suppose. Well, it was bitter, but I don't think Ireland played as well as they played for a long time. They uh, well, were the worst games. I noticed that when Webby did his sports roundup on Friday, that Ireland was top of the table of with 15 points, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And, and England are. was halfway down. We still are. We and so, therefore, yeah. they're, the, they're the team to beat, aren't they? I know. I mean, for a million years, Ireland were the underdogs, and we loved beating, doing a David and Galea on some team Wales, of Wales. Of course. Yeah, yeah exactly. Teams that were very good in their day. It's sad to see Wales at the bottom of the table. I think it's very sad. I mean, Italy when, won again. When I lived in Wales from mm. 77 to 87, mm. um, they were the, at the height, I think. Absolutely. And, uh, a great... Yeah. And, and, mm. and I met a load of uh, Welsh people who were so proud of that. Yeah. yeah. And I even went training with the rugby people. Mm. Um, yes. Yeah. Wow. Because um, they were... Um, <laughs> they, where I lived in Wales was Dry Sunday. You couldn't oh. you couldn't get alcohol on a Sunday, yeah, right? Sabbath, yeah. Yeah. And except for the rugby club and the conservative club, right, and I would yeah. never go to the conservative club. Right. But I had to go training uh, in the week to be able to get into the rugby club oh, on a Sunday. Yes. So that was my uh, wow. That was my excuse, and wow. I got it. And you say training, right? See you, JJ. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. In fact, I'm very impressed. In fact, they used to. Um, Thanks, I was Jamie. the only I was the only Englishman there until this other guy arrived. But I was the only Englishman there, and they would pick on me. Oh, they would pick right, on me, okay. but uh, it was all in oh, good. In quite good right stuff. too. I mean, sorry, no. <laughs> uh, Webby's on. Hi, hey, Webby. Hi, Webby. Hey, Webby. We're at boom, the uh, we're at the um, burger station down hi, at the bottom here. Oh, Andy Chat. Hi, Andy Chat. Oh, Andy, how are you doing? There you go. Our good friend Andy Chat has just come on there. Who is this oh, Webby oh, guy? Good friend Andy. Andy ah, Chat. you know Andy, don't uh -huh. you? Surely. Andy, lovely to see you here. Do you want to see the menu? So Jason Dyer says, great win for England. We should be well in contention for the championship no. next season. Next season, not next this season. year. Ireland are leading still. Can I have a blue spanner? Uh, six weeks in June, piggy cheeks to me, little Germany. Cool shoes. Ian Al, as soon as I meet you physically, I'll give you the spanner. Very good. Oh. Chilly now. The, la the last time, the last person who asked for a spanner, right? Yes. Um, that I didn't know. I deleted know everybody. Asked. Remember that? Yes. I think I Tina. Was it Tina? Well. And um, that's right. I remember that oh very well. Oh God. No, I don't remember that. So, oh, uh, I do. It happened about a year and a half ago, I think. Or no, it could be two or three years ago now. Or two years yeah. ago, yeah. And somebody asked for a spanner, and as soon as they got the spanner, they started banning everybody. Oh my God. Spanning and oh. spanning and everything. That was at the time when uh, there was a lot of uh, spammers on the channel. Oh, right. They don't come here now because they know the, they read the rules and go, "Oh, that's not for me." Mm. <laughs> Why is it pure than pure? 
our fan page, Tim. Like, oh, the, there's a lot of people that the Tenerife Friends. The Tenery Friends. Yes, yes. And um, in the Tenery Friends group, we have three questions, and that's all. We Is have. Michael Servus from Hanover? And um, no. all we ask is them to answer the questions, and they're admitted in. But when they don't answer the questions, they're left there, and it's then sad. eventually. If they don't, if they want to join, all they have to do is three very simple, straightforward questions. I think what happens is sometimes people ask to join and then don't don't uh, get the 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 question, or maybe they don't know how to they answer might it. They not understand, but if oh, they don't the three understand questions it, yeah. like would be, uh, what's your association with Tenerife? It wasn't Tina. Who, yeah. who who did it? Who who saved my bacon? I can't remember. Who saved your bacon? I don't remember. No, it wasn't me, Tina says. Yeah, no, no it wasn't Tina. It's, uh, I just don't recollect that at all. I'm just. Uh, I do. I don't. I don't I can't remember who saved uh, you. Vinny, I've met you. Still no spanner. Good job. Ooh. Yeah, but I don't give anybody, everybody a spanner. I've met. I've met. But if you want to be a moderator and I've met you, then I'll give you a spanner if you want one. But then you got to be a moderator. Hey Tim, was over there a couple of weeks ago, saw your set of one of the days you were with Webby looking to get back in mid-April. Cool dude, says CL131. Yeah, pretty good. Moira, love the uh, love, love Anne's rap. Oh, I didn't well, know you could rap. Outside of takeaway, Saturday night to bowl. Yeah, it's a bit chilly tonight, Moira. It's a little bit chilly now. Well, I've not got like a spanner, are they heavy? No. <laughs> David and Anne Marie, fellow Irish people. Oh, of course, Dublin, Ireland. CL131. Nice to meet you. Online. <laughs> uh, Maureen says, I've messed up my Facebook accounts and so I'm missing the gossip. Oh, yes, I saw that. That's the second time she Shout said that. Shout out from Limerick, says CL131. Oh, very good. Oh, very good. Jason Hi. Dyer, where we will be busy in June with the Euros. What's the Euros? Football. Maybe be fo football. football. Is European it? Championships. Football. I guess. Oh, we're, not going, we're not going to Germany now in June, are we? Or July? No. No. Looks like our daughter's coming Your daughter's here. Your daughter's coming so. to see you. Yeah. Right. Tim has to pay all his scanners. Lol, still spacey, still waiting for my bank transfer. What? <laughs> <laughs> <Some, laughs> oh, spanners, okay. Still waiting for the spanners. The salaries drink. are generous but slow to come. Uh -huh. They take about 200 years for the bank transfer to come through. Is that what you're saying? Heaven saves thinks it was Nicky Dunn who might have saved it. It was time. Nicky Dunn, yeah. yeah it was yeah. Nicky Dunn. Yeah, there you yeah go. I think you're right there, Heather. Uh, she saved yeah. my bacon. So, Mrs. Dowd, do you want your chicken tenders? Yeah. Coleslaw? Yeah. Another drink? I don't know. Oh, you got no. some drink here. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm having chicken tenders. Are you having? Yeah. Can we share? Yeah, we share. You want to share a burger? Which, no, 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 I, no I, I'm I don't. I, I feel quite full. Tree. Just have a, one or two little chicken burger. I feel quite tenders. full, but I've, I've come to review the burgers, so oh. I've got oh, to. Yes, you have to. The menu is excellent. Purity so, research. station smash burger, it looks like, or bacon cheeseburger. Now, the bacon cheeseburger looks looks way too much. There's an awful. Some of them are quite um, generous, the helping by the sound of them. Yeah. The Houston station yeah, burger. Lovely. That's a very interesting, some of the very creative titles. That's I don't know what a potato roll is. Oh. Is that a potato bread? That's a good question, I don't know. Yeah, when I started work, my mum said she, I'd, have to, I'd have to get a potato clock. A potato clock? A potato clock. I said, what's that? She said, when you go to work, you've got to get a potato clock. Oh, oh very good. come on. <laughs> so I don't know whether to have the station smash burger, which is Cheese bacon. Nice. It's just the it's just the sim it's the simplest the basic to go. Burger, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go for that. The basic station smash burger. But I'm going to go for that. And I'm, I don't cheese, want I don't uh, want chips with it. I'm very full. I'll, All I'll burgers come with fries. You have the option of changing changing the beef for a Beyond Burger. You have the option of changing the beef for, for a, a Beyond Burger. Oh, a Beyond Burger. Beyond Burger. I don't know what a Beyond Burger is. I'll see what it says in Spanish. Might make more sense. Tienes la opción de cambiar a tener por un Beyond Burger. No, it's in English. I don't know what a Beyond Burger is. Changing beef for a Beyond Burger. Is a Beyond Burger is uh, quinoa maybe? I don't know. 
No. I'm going to go and ask what a Beyond Burger is. Excuse me for one moment. Okay. Could you send her out to to take the order, please? Thank you very much. Or well, do you fancy a hot dog? Oh, I haven't had a hot dog in years. Is there a basic small little baby hot dog? Grilled German sausage, crispy onions, bacon pickle, seven euros. Ah, let's go wild and do a hot dog. See ya, see you tomorrow. Yeah, maybe I'll do a hot dog. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll order the hot dog and the station smash burger and then we'll cut both of them in half and have half each. Well, I'll see. Let's, we'll see. Yep. Let's, let's order them anyway and we'll see how we feel. Because I want to try the hot dog. It's almost sunset. It is. Very spectacular sky actually with the clouds, isn't it? I've got thousands of them here. Uh, dos chicken tenders. Right. Mm -hmm. e un station hot dog. Station hot dog, okay. And a station smash burger. Can I change the chips for coleslaw? For? Coleslaw. Uh, no, ah, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. no fries. Okay, great. Just coleslaw. Thank you. Cool dudes. So we've ordered a hot dog, a burger with coleslaw, and two portions of chicken tenders with coleslaw. And we're gonna try and um, eat them all. I'm sure that somebody <laughs> will finish them. And maybe uh, Dos Harat, you want another beer? Ooh, unamas, por favor, señor. Dos Harat. To weigh yourself tomorrow. i got to weigh myself tomorrow. Way. Don't tell me the Lederhosen uh, challenge is still exist, or is that his? The Lederhosen challenge is on, but I'm going to have to buy a new Lederhosen. Yeah, the bigger ones. Yeah. The, yeah. The... <laughs> uh, always nearly spectacular sky sunsets. Let's have a look yeah. at the spectacular beautiful. sky it's sunsets. Beautiful. I think it's beautiful up there. Dramatic, isn't it? The it's very dramatic, yeah. The, the grey of the cloud on this side and the white of the cloud on the sun side. Fabulous. So it's a nice spot here, sort of shaded from the wind, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you're down a bit. Now, the temperature there says 26. I do not believe that for one moment on the, oh, it does, yeah. the pharmacy. That couldn't possibly be correct. I think the I think I'm sat on the thermometer. <laughs> can't be 26. No. It's looking to be 16. It's 16 ish. Yeah. That's pleasant. Please come to Tenerife. Beautiful temperate climate. <laughs> it reminds me of what you always say, Tim. It's various microclimates in Tenerife. Yeah. The, the, str the struggle with the burger, the burger is real, says Vinnie. Mm. And I went wild, and in your absence, I um, ordered a hot dog, which I might share. Oh my with goodness. <laughs> Okay. Any boats or yachts out to sea, says Neil Davidson. Thank you very much. Pardon me? Gracias. Uh, are on the way, yeah. Um, no, Neil. Not for, not for the moment. The week is hectic enough as it is. No, was, no. I think he was alluding to the picture that he put there. All right. Of the young lady's bottom. And then, oh, no, right. and, then please, and then tried please. to try to tell everybody he was he was oh, taking a picture oh, of the yacht. Oh, that was controversial. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, some people are more sensitive than others. Did yeah. have an issue with that and left um, the Tenerife Friends group, didn't they? On Facebook. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we won't, we're yeah. not going to worry about that. People can be sensitive to things mm -hmm. that are meant to be humorous. Whatever. Dane Dupis is on. Hi, Dane. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well with your gardening. Oh yeah. See the guy in the USA, is he Dane? No, yeah. no, Dane Dupas is a Scot, oh, sorry, um, working with his dad in um, up in Scotland as in a, he does uh, gardening. Oh, excellent! That's oh, very good. Very good. He emails me a lot, and I mm. I mean to reply, and I don't think I replied to the last one. Right, Dane. Well, let's hope the temperatures in Scotland improve. I shall I shall write to you chilly. soon. <laughs>
Uh, Stella Unfiltered, by the way. What's that now? Oh, Stella's a beer. Oh, all right. Unfiltered. Any more yacht pictures, Neil? <laughs> no, no, no. He'll never leave that. He'll never oh, leave that down, will he? No, yeah, I think that's crazy. But the, but the thing is, it, it, it? It's, it's his Facebook group. He can put on it what he wants. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. There we go. Just for check if I, I, I take well, the, the check it, okay? Okay. One station is mashed. Yeah. Dos chicken bites. No, no. Chicken, chicken tenders. tenders. A chicken tenders. Two. This one. Two, two, yeah. Ah, two. Okay. Yeah, okay. two. Is it a lot of food? Uh, yes, it is. A lot of food. Yes, it is. Okay, we'll we'll and, eat it. And, um, you sure you don't want to get it between you? No. Perfect. No, he's. Oh, he's yeah, gonna. You're gonna share, right? Okay. Okay. Great. And the hot dog, and the co and the coleslaw instead of the fries. Michael has made a very radical statement uh, for those of us who follow rugby union. He says. Who's Michael? Edinburgh, Edinburgh Honest, Honest Guide, guide don't Michael. Know, don't know the guy. Never heard of him, yeah, sure. No, yeah, I don't right. Know if you read this, Scotland are in the Six Nations. So I read it, and um, the last miracle was when wine was turned into water, or water was. Oh, yeah, in the. Yeah, no, Michael, uh, let's be realistic. Uh, we loved seeing Scotland play, but okay. I still think uh, I'm going to do it. Chicken tenders and coleslaw? Uh -huh. Yeah, it doesn't come with fries, no? No. No, no, no fries. Okay, and the other ones with fries? No. The, do you oh, want no, fries on a hot no. dog? No. No fries. No so fries. I just want extra coleslaw. Yeah. Oh, no, don't. Chips. Okay, no fries. There we go. We've got 160 people watching. Oh, wow. Ray Duffy, hello, viewers. You oh, know, Ray. People in the sun. Hi, Ray. Back Hi, from Ray. Glasgow, Slater's men's got a new suit and my broken leg glasses at Asda. Oh. And my broken leg Thanks. glasses. 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 What's a broken leg glass? God knows. <laughs> that Asda. Hi, Michael. How you doing? Says Eugene McGeever. Oh, Eugene. Ian Owl. My yacht sank there in '86. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, if you read this, Scotland will build the Six Nations. And yeah. I read it, and they won't. Yeah, but what is the Six Nations? This is the Rugby Championship. Yeah, but maybe he's talking about a different Six Nations. No, Ma they're means like the, the amount of people that are drunk on a Saturday no, afternoon. No, no, no. <laughs> the Six Nations are the home countries plus Italy and France. That's Please. Fine. And that's the Six Nations, and we all know it. Which are the home countries? All the ones that England own? Ireland. Yeah, the, Ireland, no, the, the country that overthrew England and expelled the occupying forces of England. The uh, so you're the, Palest Ireland. you're the Palestinians and England are the Israelis? Well, that's why the Irish are... Sorry, I won't get political, but you've hit a point. The nail oh, on the head. You've hit the nail on the head, yeah. So, no, no, I mean, we, we treasure our unity with Northern Ireland because we play in the same rugby team. Exactly. And I worked with an organisation where we had a Belfast office and we had... We would always um, work very well with our unionist friends in the north and respect their politics. Mm -hmm. And I just, I don't want to be political, but I'm just saying well, that some of us, we're not all mad um, IRA types. We should, Ireland, well, what know? we should do is unify the British Isles and put the, and put the government in Dublin. Well, that would be an excellent idea. There you go. And the, uh, and the sales of potatoes and Guinness would uh, appropriately increase. But better than that, everybody would be back in the European Union and you don't oh, need your... Oh, yeah, passport to the Yeah. Stamped. I tell you, well, we won't talk about the B word, but the B word... I mean, to see the, English, the UK citizens herded down this alleyway at passport control is almost embarrassing at this yeah, stage, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's yeah. sad really, you know. Yeah. However, look at this. Uh, that's what it was, you see, one of the baggage handlers was probably getting, trying to get through passport control, it's probably British. Maybe. Oh, no, no. No, but they, they do make it very obvious. They're no. putting one people trafficking mm. one way and the other section the other way yeah. and this border and they're quite... I mean, they're sort of throwing they're not very nice the about yeah, it. They're throwing they're, in yeah. the face of the British, they made a democratic yeah. decision. But however, yeah. um, we couldn't possibly want in Ireland to leave the EU because we... They will, you know. What? Yeah, they're all going to leave. Germany will leave and then Ireland... Will oh, well, if Germany leaves... Won't be able to afford it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. If the guy with the cash leaves. Oh, well. No, no. Cheers. Da -da -da. Cheers, we Yeah, cheers. It's not Mahu, though, is it? It's a... Uh... Oh, oh! No, no. <laughs> I would say... I feel educated tonight. The idea that lager means a warehouse... Cheers, Christina. 
Well, it's, it's, actually to, it's actually a verb, to lager. Lagern. Oh, to lager. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. lagern. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then okay, the beer yeah. is the lager beer. Wow. The oh. beer that they put in the warehouse. It's very interesting, oh, yeah. Ablagern, yeah, to, to lay away. Yeah. Yeah. In, in, in the world of spirits and duty, uh, bonded stores and all that, there's words around that too, uh, but I've forgotten them. But la lager, um, I have to say Dorada is a great product. But mm -hmm. I, are you saying it's got... Oh, no, well, lager, you see, is the only beer that you can actually store. All right. Right? Oh. Because the way it's brewed, oh, it's right. the only one you can actually store. So you're saying that stouts and ales go off? Yeah. Unless, yeah, unless you put chemicals in them. Oh, right. Well, the, the beer and what beer is, aren't no. they? Very, very strict. Yeah. We're well, back in the room, I think. Now, they're very strict on beer because That's there's the purity about. laws of 1516, right. so you can only use five ingredients to make beer, right? Yes. And these five ingredients are hops, barley, roasted something or other, yeast and water. Water, yeah. 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 And yeah, I've heard of this, yeah. 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 And the, um, the problem is that they do now use chemicals in the production of the beer, but the chemical oh. is taken out. All oh, right. Um, and so they, they've sort of got round the, mm. the, the law, if you like, right, right. Um, by for the chemical only being there to start a process and, oh, then, it's, and then it's removed, yeah. right? Can, so, can, I, can I just say something very interesting now? This yeah. could be boring for our viewers. There are boring. no borings. We, we, we have been purchasing uh, a a Californian red wine, a blended grape wine called Blossom Hill. Yeah. And in Ireland it says 10% alcohol by volume. Yeah. But we went down to our local supermarket, uh, Spanish style, today, and somebody had put a sticker on and it said, this is 12% and it's got sulfides in it. So there's, there's some quality control person at import in Spain is correcting the American labelling. I just find it about maybe I'm, I'm going to be sued by somebody for saying this, but I just found it fascinating. That I'm trying to find what percent alcohol was in it. Yeah. And there was an over sticker I've never in my life seen. From the Spanish government? Well, I suspect yeah, they were forced by a regulator to correct the labelling. I just found that amazing. Just anyway, that's a, that's a very nerdy kind of piece of mm -hmm. winology, but however, I'm just saying, I just thought it was very strange. I mean, I anyway. think I think that the the labelling uh, laws in America are slightly different. You don't you don't have to tell everything every, everything oh, to yeah. everybody. Oh, but right. in Europe, it's it's but the European uh, Union. Uh, oh yeah, it's EU. Yeah. 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 EU laws very strict. <laughs> very so. strict. Yeah. Uh, if you want um, fancies for the Cheltenham oh, yeah. starting oh, on go. Tuesday, I think it is. Go and have a look at Webby Sports Roundup. Okay. Um, last. Sunday, there was the um, the conversation with Webby and Ash. Right. Ash well, sent horses, Ash sent uh, a, a a thing about four four horses oh that he's that he's putting right. in. Some right. are ten to one, some are twenty five to yeah. one. Oh, so good. there'll be mm. well, it's eighty. Oh, it's uh, past yeah. seven o'clock. People are saying we've it been is on. Indeed, we've, oh, we've we're been run on over, over a hundred. I'll just say one thing that. Was it your grandmother has a tradition of oh yes of betting on Cheltenham every time and Anne does won. like or to, the Grand National Anne does like not to um, miss something with Cheltenham. Uh -huh. so, anyway, she used to it was get lovely to see you all. It was lovely to see everybody. Have a You've good, been on it all have time. Have a good week. So we're going to finish it here because it's late. Um, what I'll do is I'll take a picture of the burgers and the hot dogs and pick it up, pick it up, yeah. and put it up on Instagram. So now you've got to go to my Instagram account. <laughs> there you go. Living with MS Tenerife is called one word. Living with MS Tenerife. Thanks for all the great comments, mm -hmm. and see you all soon. And thank yeah. you for the 150 odd people, and even more with the hundred thumbs up and the nine euros thirty-seven that we will get at the end of next month. <laughs> Very good. So. Let's do Excellent. it like this. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, care. this is Bye Tim, on. Chris, David, and Anne Marie for Living with MS and Tenery signing off. Take See care. ya. Wouldn't want to be. I know Trisha doesn't like, doesn't want to be you. Bye.